Hello ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching. Uh, tonight we've been called by a customer that has a uh, uh, 5500 service truck that lost the rear set of duels and we've got to go rescue him off the side of the interstate. Uh, so here we go. Okay ladies and gentlemen we are almost on scene. See the truck here. I hope it is going to fit. Oh no, this is not a rollback job. Never mind, this is not gonna work. That truck way too big. I thought they told me I, uh, oh, I was way wrong. All right, here we go. But this is not gonna work with this truck. Gonna have to call somebody out. Hey guys, I was expecting a smaller truck. Yeah, you're gonna have to do something different. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something different. No kidding. Let me go see what kind of work. Look, what we got back here. Whatsoever. Wheel studs broke off. How? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you, my friend. I don't know. There was no vibration. There was nothing. All of a sudden, I was on the ground. Let me tell you. Wow. Okay. Let's well, make it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll call my other guy. We'll get a different truck up here and I'll bring this truck around and set it behind it so we've got some traffic control. Another issue we had, we lost a few wall back. Back tires. Yes. They had put tires on the back because they couldn't raise the high rails in the front. Hit the ground if they picked the back end. Okay. Yeah, so that might be an issue too to think about. Get over, people. Come on. Move, move, move. Well, the only other option is to get a uh, bigger flatbed. Do what? Do what? I've towed vehicles similar to this and not had problems with the high rails. Do what, sir? From the back? What he was having trouble with when he looked from the back, these were flagging. Right. We had the Dexter down there by the chicken feed plant. And then you guys hold it back from there. Okay. I don't know if we towed it from the back or the front. I really, I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of stuff to grab a hold of. It's just, uh, boy. Yeah, he picked the back end up fine. Just to, yeah. He said the high rail were touching. Okay. Well, okay, I've repositioned up on the ramp. Talon and I have made a plan. He's going to uh, back down the shoulder and I'm gonna follow him with my emergency lights. And then I'll set up the work zone. Hard hat 
got my halo, my high vis, an orange flag. Line them up. Got my uh, little electronic flares already lit up and ready to deploy. As soon as we get back down to the scene, I got the bed slid back so I've got quick, easy access to my road cones. probably can't tell because my headlights don't normally show up very well anyway but I've got my headlights turned off if you can see Talon has his turned off as well and so that we're not blinding each other also if he's backing down the highway that he's not blinding oncoming traffic I'll try to scooch down in the seat because I know a lot of people like a different view they like my uh, rear window cam, but right now I've got it rear facing uh, just for insurance purposes to cover us in case somebody should come up. It reminded me I needed to turn it back on. I turned it off while I was sitting up on the shoulder of the exit ramp. We're getting ready to get on the interstate. Again, I've got my arrow board going and my red and blues. I do not have my amber light bar going because it is confusing having the amber light bar and the amber arrow stick at the same time. But the way we work this out, Talon's going to back down the interstate to hook up to the truck and I'm going to back up the shoulder that we're driving down now to the exit ramp that we were just on so that Talon will be driving forward on this shoulder. It's too far from the nearest northbound exit ramp for him to back up with a vehicle in tow. Sure would have been nice if it was uh, 
truck that would have fit on this rollback but it, I'm not gonna try that way too much constantly watching my mirrors it seems like right now at least anyway people are getting over which is good They've got plenty of uh, clear line of sight, so they shouldn't have any reason not to pull over. I'm starting to put a little bit of space in between myself and Talon. Uh, so we got some people like that that don't want to get over. And another one here that has absolutely nothing in the lane beside him. But, uh, waits till the last second to get over. Anyway, we're getting very close to the breakdown location. So I'm going to leave plenty of space in between Talon and myself. Basically, we'll use this truck as a blocker since it has the... Uh, arrow board on it I don't know if it's a combination of the red and blues and the arrow stick or if it's just the red and blues or just the arrow stick but whatever it is it gets people's attention and for the most part they get over I have been very very pleased with the results it's still dangerous out here don't get me wrong you're still gonna have people that don't get over don't slow down and move over. All right. I'm going to set up, start setting up our work zone here. I can see him entering the first cones that they have set out. I'm going to set right here. Give us a little buffer zone. Go ahead and get set out. not allowed to do that. Unless it's an absolute emergency and then there are certain protocols that have to be followed to shut down a lane. We cannot just take it upon ourselves to shut a lane down.
See what I was talking about? Yeah. This is not a fun one, is it? No. I think we're gonna have to lift it before we can lift it. Yeah. We're trying to figure out where is that hurting? Now, if you can get under it, you can grab the high rail. I'm all the way down. Ah, uh, oh, here. Tall fork right there. Yeah? Right there on that beam. Okay. This one? Yep. Right there. We can also use, use that. Or... Yeah, yeah, get under that, get under that bumper and see if you can lift it and we'll block it. If it doesn't work, we'll go to plan B. What? We can use that outrigger. Truck runs. Truck runs. forward that way at an angle if you can get out that main brace instead of those
There you go. There you go. There you go. This work. Okay. Hold on. It's got all those dead gum electric wires in the way. Okay. Pull your underreach in. See if we can make that thing sneak past that. Ain't gonna do it, is it? Darn it. Okay, push around a little bit. Tilt her up. And then bring your bar in. When may I bring your T head in. All the way in. Until it bottoms out against the spec here. There you go. May I have to actually turn the T head up, I don't know. Alright, go ahead. Keep going. See what happens. Good, good, good. We kill the hydraulics. You have oil dry on here? Or do I need to go back and get some? First, the old door on your side. All right. Yep. Casey's texting me. Uh, from what he's hearing on the scanner, KKD's, one of their drivers might have just been hit. Cosmetic. Oh yeah. Run around here local. I hope not. I sure hope not. Don't want that to happen to anybody. Nope. I've got a pretty good safety zone set up and they're moving over, believe it or not. If you want to pull forward out of this oil where you don't have to... Well, I'm afraid to move it because it's kind of rocky on this board. Okay. Uh, so I think we're going to get this chain, this side chain. Gotcha. Up. Don't want to leave that hydraulic oil laying there. And it won't get over.
even though we've got a pretty good safety barrier I still constantly watching my back I hope what I just told Talon about one of our local tow drive tow drivers getting hurt not from our company but from a different company it sounds as if one of one of our local tow vendors might have gotten a driver hurt or killed I don't know I hope not uh, I'm definitely saying a few silent prayers in my head for those of you who believe I know this video may not air but when and if it does if that in, if that driver was hurt your prayers well wishes whatever would be greatly appreciated And if, heaven forbid, the worst, his family will need the same. All right, I'll get the light bar. very pleased I just about got this go ahead and take care of your stuff bro. taken me a little bit of time to put out those cones and flares but look how this traffic is lined up and it's slowed down thank you thank you Thank you, thank you. If you can afford to, you need to drop the back down. Well, I don't know that you can. The high rails are skipping. If you can't, you can't. You gotta do what you gotta do. You All right, yeah. I got the light bar on. Yeah. It's tight though. You're good. 
good. I've got the wheel tied. I've got the light bar on. Uh, I'll pick up my heels. Yeah, okay, my little mini strobes. Gonna back up. I'm gonna back up just like you back down here. I'm gonna back up the opposite direction. Stop and then and whenever roll. we get up there, all right, we'll stop on the shoulder then and regroup once we get on the ramp. These are a little uh, LED electronic road flares. Absolutely love them. They got replaceable batteries in them. They've got, like, I forget exactly how many different light patterns that you can put on, but there's quite a few. And they show up a lot better at nighttime than these. Road cones do. Road cones don't hardly show up at night except for the reflective strips on them. Just gonna leave those stacked. Come on, buddy, get over. There you go. can't ever be too careful out here. I get people criticize me sometimes for taking a few extra steps that they don't think is necessary. Everybody has their own methods. I'm not going to criticize them. I don't believe in doing that. Whatever works for them. This works for me. I want my guys to go home every night. I want to go home every night. These also have a magnet on them. So like here, I'm just setting them. do a staggering pattern like I did a while ago. All right. Let's roll. Turn the hat cam off. Uh, turn the halo off, not hat cam. Seat belt on. And let's see if I'm the world's best backwards driver with no lights. No backing up lights, that is. I could turn them on, but my work lights are so bright that I'm afraid they'd uh, hinder traffic, and I really don't want to do that.
getting over. People ask me what I drink. That's it, water and uh, coffee. Occasionally a, a nice sweet tea, but that's it. Mainly water, keep myself hydrated. Summer, winter, doesn't matter. It's got me worried about that other driver. I sure hope he wasn't hit. He, she, I'm not sure. Regardless, I hope the person was not hit. I hope it is a false report. That'd be absolutely horrible. It happens way too much. We lose too many tow operators. That's why I take all the safety precautions that I do job's dangerous enough. I'm not going to take extra risks uh, unnecessarily. Even if it takes a few extra minutes to set up a safe zone for us. Alright, now once I get past this guardrail, We'll have a little bit of extra room to play because we'll be on the ramp shoulder. We'll be starting to get on the ramp shoulder. tires off of the uh, truck that Talon's towing. The drivers were able to find one of them and I picked it up for them. Do not know where the other one went. Alright, get out here and powwow with Talon. for a light change or breaking traffic and I'll back up you just shoot on out and 
hit the overpass. Hit, hit the overpass and head back to the shop and I'll come in behind you. turn this off for a little bit until we get back to the shop again if you're a believer please pray for that driver uh, if you're a non-believer you know well wishes whatever good thoughts uh, anything I just I, man I, that really bothers me I hope that uh, hope that, that driver's okay uh, anyway as always thank you for watching and God bless